Today we are going to be exploring Disney Dreamlight Valley and their brand new expansion pass called A Rift in Time. If you don't already know, Disney Dreamlight Valley is a multi-platform life simulation game where you can build your dream village while building relationships with Disney and Pixar characters and solving the puzzles of the valley. And now with the release of A Rift in Time, there are even more secrets and adventures to discover with three new biomes, new characters like Jafar, Eve, Gaston, and Rapunzel, and the brand new Royal Hourglass tool. Not only have they released A Rift in Time on December 5th, but there's also a Disney Dreamlight Valley update. The update has also already launched. It is version 1.0 of the game, so we're gonna jump right in and check it all out. You can grab both the new expansion pass and the new update using the link down in my description below. Oh, and this video will contain spoilers about both the expansion pass and the update, so keep that in mind. Thank you so much to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring this video and let's get into it. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh, it's happening. It's happening. Hey, it's Jafar. Hello. It worked at last. What worked? After an eternity. Sid, do you hear me? I do. How do you know my name? You may not know me, but I know you. I have eyes everywhere. Okay. Okay, so whatever device he's on right now is allowing him to talk to me, but apparently it's malfunctioning. Before the forgetting, I was the old ruler's most trusted advisor. All of the time and space is in peril. <laughs> And you're trusting me? <laughs> Ooh, this looks so pretty. A land called Eternity Isle. A place filled with ancient relics that empower their wielder to control time. This is intense. Oh, so Jafar is trapped in Eternity Isle and I have to go free him. All right, I'm up for the challenge, let's do it. So I need to go find Merlin to be able to get to Jafar. We gotta take the ancient vessel, which is gonna take us over to the Eternity Isle to Jafar. I'm on it. <laughs> Scrooge is over there like, did you just see that? Did you just see what I saw? All right, let's go find Merlin. Oh, he's over there. So Merlin is telling us that there's a hidden place in Dreamlight Valley. And this is how we're going to find the isle. And apparently I can find out more about it in the dream castle. So let's go there. I'm going to get some new shoes before I go. This seems like it's going to take a lot of walking. <laughs> Let me just buy a new outfit here real quick. May as well change my hair too. Cute. Okay, I'm ready. All right, to the castle. <laughs> Where are you going? Wait, wait for me. He's going so fast these stairs. Step through the gate and find out what's on the other side. Okay, I think we're ready. This is a moment. Let's do it. Ooh, where are we going? This is the port. Oh, it's so pretty. We're up in the clouds. The Stardust Port. That is so perfect. Oh, the villagers can visit me here too. So as I visit more locations, the port is gonna fill up here. So I'm gonna go over here. This looks like the only one that I can go to at the moment. Okay, enter. Oh, <gasps> Oh, look at it. This world is so pretty. A little monkey. Oh, a couple monkeys. Oh, Jafar again. Jafar, I found you. So this is Ancient's Landing. There are countless treasures to be found here, but apparently that's not gonna come too easy. So we have to find the Ancient Gate and that apparently will take us deeper into the island, but apparently it's blocked. Blocked by the splinters of fate. I'm a little intimidated. So we have to go clear the way, but I have to explore first. Look at this place. These are the things I have to remove, but they kind of look pretty. <laughs> Can I like keep them instead? Oh my gosh, look at this statue in the background too. Oh, there's a few of them. All right, I better start clearing these away. I think I found a hologram station. I'm gonna clear these away and see if we can talk to Jafar again. Let's see if he- oh, there he is. Okay, so the gate is still closed and apparently there was a sphere here that used to power the gate, but it has been broken. Of course it it has. All thanks to that flying chirping metal nuisance. What are you talking about? Oh, I can actually live here too. So I have to look around for the pieces for that sphere and then we have to craft it to open the gate. But there's a store here too and a stall. Oh, and Mickey's here. I think some of the villagers come here too. I think he's making me play a game. I can't play right now, Mickey. I'm on a mission. So there are three new biomes that come with this pass. This is Ancient's Landing. This is one of the new biomes. So of course there are new quests here, including one where you 
you have to get Goofy's stall going, which I should probably start to do. My inventory is looking a little full. There are also some really cool new resources here. Like I'm, tr I'm currently trying to fish and I just got this really cool robot fish. I'm gonna get Goofy to hang out with me for this. Oh, I think I found a piece of the sphere. Yes, I need one more. I think I saw one over here. Let me just pick that up. Thank you. And now we can go fix it at the crafting station. All right, there it is. We are going to make one ancient sphere, please. And now I can go put it right next to this. Yes, let's open the gate. Amazing. I guess Goofy's coming with me. <laughs> let's go deeper into Eternity Isle. Ooh, what's gonna happen next? Oh, cool. It's the Sultan's Palace. Okay, let's talk to Jafar. So Jafar is obviously one of the new unlockable characters. And Jafar is telling us now that apparently the isle is split down the middle by a rift. And he is trapped at the other end. So to help him, we need to obtain the ancient relic known as the Royal Hourglass. What is that? It is under the protection of that flying metal nuisance. So we have to find her to get that hourglass. I love how Goofy and Mickey are just like along for the ride. <laughs> They're fully committed just like I am. <gasps> I found you, the flying metal nuisance. You're not a flying metal nuisance. It's Eve. Eve is gonna be another new character we can unlock. Don't attack me. I just want the hourglass. Uh-oh, I think I made her angry. I gotta go talk to Jafar. Help me. I need help. Oh, she's being so defensive because the old ruler here asked her to be like that. This hourglass must be powerful. I'm gonna try and convince her that I am the old ruler, so she gives me the hourglass. So I need to go inside her home to find something to do that. Oh, this is her home right here. Let's maybe remove these piles of junk. Maybe we can find something here. Ooh, what's that on the ground? Is that a little robot fish? I have one of those. All right, I found that memory and it was super cute. And now I need to find a costume so I can disguise myself. Okay, so this is the area I need to find because the costume can be found here. Could I offer you a robot fish instead? It's really tasty. It kind it looks like it's behind a waterfall. Yup, I think we're onto something. Cute, oh, there's like a little picnic spot with treasures. I do love treasure. Don't mind if I do. So clearly there are a lot of new treasures to be found in the new pack. That is the cutest little picnic spot. Look at the fairy lights. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna open up those treasures that I just got. Oh, we got a robot costume. I didn't even have to buy a new outfit after all. So now I have to put that on and hopefully we can trick Eve into trust us. I look, um, I look crazy right now. Goofy might be judging a little, but let's go see if it works. Okay, please believe me. I feel kind of bad that I'm tricking her, but do I remind you of somebody, an old friend? Eve is like, as a matter of fact, oh my gosh, yay. I think it worked. I got a recipe, a recipe for the meal that I saw in the memory. Wait, do you actually want the robot fish? You want me to prove that I'm really your old friend by cooking this? I am so happy I caught that. Right, so I need to see what's in this recipe. The best fish forever recipe. Oh, that's so cute. So I need a snail, one of the fish, which I have, and just a couple other things there. I guess I can't really take this costume off until I do that now, can I? So now we have to open up this stall so we can get some more materials. And to do that, I need some copper, which I've almost found all of. And then I need to go fishing for plastic scrap, which I currently have none of. Fishing in my robot suit. Oh, it's in the water without the ripples literally says that. <laughs> A good tip while you're fishing or doing anything really in Disney Dreamlight Valley is to hang out with the characters because when you do that, you can actually level up with them and unlock other things as you go. And there are so many fun characters to unlock and hang out with in the game. There have been so many new ones added since the game came out too. Like I've been playing this game pretty much since it came out and it has been so fun to watch this game grow with all the new content being added. See, I leveled up with Moana and I got a thousand and coins, basically just by doing things that I was gonna be doing anyway. So I should be gathering my last materials here. There we go. And I need to bring them to Goofy so hopefully we can open up the shop. Do you think he's in on the whole disguise thing or do you think he thinks I'm a robot? I'm thinking he probably thinks that. <laughs> now we can unlock the stall and I can buy ingredients. I'm gonna need to plant some celery. While we wait for that to grow, I need to find some cumin. And these are all ingredients that I need to be able to make that recipe. Okay. 
is this what I need? Oh, I think this is what I need. Yes, perfect. While I wait for my celery to grow, I may as well plant some other things. Get a little garden going. Let's see, I have some raspberries. I have some carrots. And maybe I can customize a little bit here. I'm just gonna move some stuff around. Then I can fence in my new garden over here. And actually, I just made this white picket fence. I'm gonna add that instead. Might look a little nicer. And while I did that, my celery is done, which means we have all the ingredients we need. So let's go cook. I'm gonna use my oven here and add all the ingredients. There we go. I think that's all I need. Oh, perfect. I made the best fish forever. I love how that looks. Okay, let's go bring the food back to Eve. Here you go. Eve is so cute. I think now we can finally get the hourglass. Yes, we got the hourglass as a robot. Ooh, okay. So this unlocks a whole new feature. Time bending with the hourglass. We can use the hourglass to find artifacts lost in time. And it looks very cool when I'm holding it. I think I'm gonna change out of my robot outfit. Maybe I'll do it a little further away from Eve so she doesn't know we're tricking her. There we go, we're back. We need to return to the broken bridge. I'm gonna be carrying this thing everywhere. And let's see if we can go across. Hold the hourglass towards the broken bridge and watch as time reverses. No, it didn't work. It's missing something. Three jewels of time, and they have been scattered everywhere from the old ruler. So apparently one of them is over here, and I can clear these swirling sands using the hourglass. With the hourglass, you can sense hidden treasures and kind of pull them towards you. That is gonna be so helpful with this story here. We have to find all these treasures for some of the quests, so start by searching here. Okay, okay let me see. Oh, I think I'm doing it. Okay, we're gonna clear click really fast. I got an ancient statue fragment. I need one more. Oh, another one. Oh, I think I got it. Yes, I can repair the statue. Okay, now we need to go find more ancient plates. So I've just been kind of searching around with it, just pressing space as I go. And then you, as you're clicking around, you kind of find more and more. You also unlock recipes when you do it. I think I might have found a trick for finding these. When I press space and the little glitter things above me turn blue, I I think that means we're cold. We're not near any treasure. And I think it also kind of points to where the treasure might be. And when I'm near treasure, it starts to glow yellow and orange. And I think it actually is pointing me in the direction of where it is. So you can see like, it's kind of guiding me this way. And then we're easily able to find the treasure. I have cracked the code. So this time it seems to be pointing me that way. I'm thinking maybe there's some under the waterfall. Oh, yep, there it is. I think there's also one in here. Yes, there we go. I am a pro at using this tool now. I will stop at nothing to find all this treasure. I think there's probably one over here. Yep, this is a super helpful tip. No more treasure in this area, look elsewhere. It's also nice that it tells you so you're not just searching around forever. I have enough materials to go back and talk to Jafar. And instead of working with a crafting table with these kind of items, we have to use a time bending table instead. So there's one right here and here we can upgrade our hourglass. We can craft like unique kinds of things. So I'm going to use this table to craft a statue arm, which we need to help repair that bridge. We're going to put this back in the socket. There we go. And hopefully now we can repair the broken bridge. There is so much to do with this expansion pass. I've already been playing for quite a few hours now, and there is still so much to do, so much to unlock. Now my hourglass can channel the magic of the mist. Oh, so I can use it to invest investigate things like this broken bridge and that'll unlock new areas. Okay, so unlocking this stuff can allow us to venture into the glittering dunes and the wild tangle, which are two more of the three new biomes here. I'm going to use the magic we're going to explore here. Yes, we finally fixed the bridge. Look at that cute little animal. Ooh, oh, this is cool. I think this one is the wild tangle. Interesting, this must be the glittering dunes. Oh, it's so beautiful. This hourglass tool is powerful. So up here we can see we have the glittering dunes. Down here we have ancient's landing, which is the one we were at first. And over to the right, we have the wild tangle. Let's go up here and check this out. Let me see. Oh, I can't wait to explore this. Obviously there's going to be all new resources is here too. There are new plants I can harvest. What kind of fish am I gonna catch in here? Sandfish? <gasps> 
That is so cool, a skeleton fish. And over there is Gaston. I'm sure you've got some quests for me as well. Oh no, he's dehydrated. <laughs> I gotta help him. We're gonna help him out in a bit. He needs some like vegetable plant things. And this must be the wild tangle biome. Oh my gosh, I think Rapunzel is over there. I need to get over there so I can unlock her. He clearly has so many more secrets and lore to uncover. Obviously this biome has a bunch of new resources to collect as well. I think we are going to stop here for this video today. We are definitely going to keep playing Disney Dreamlight Valley on this channel because I want to dive further into the new update and expansion pass content. And I think in the next video, we can do a little bit more exploring of the Wild Tangle and Glittering Dune biomes. So if you haven't checked out Disney Dreamlight Valley yet, now is the time with all of these new features added in the game. There is so much to do and so much has been added to the game since launch. And if you have played the game, check out the update. See what's been added recently. It's definitely worth a second look, especially with the new features added with the expansion pass. You can grab both now using the link in my description. And thank you so much again to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.